Call of Duty has hit a new low. And it's not just because they've been season desisting some of our favorite things to play, as well as killing off SM2 before we could even play and enjoy the game. I'm actually talking about Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 here, because apparently it had the lowest player numbers ever in May. And you guys already know, I brought this up every time it happens because I just think it's hilarious at this point. The player numbers for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and Warzone 2 have done nothing but decline ever since launch. And look, man, a lot of people want to disregard these numbers because it's just Steam charts. It's only referring to Steam. But I gotta say it, man. I can't believe people magically think that this somehow does not apply to PlayStation, Xbox, or Battle.net. It's not about the specific numbers going down just for Steam. It's the fact that they've gone down at such a large rate. It's more so about the actual percentage of players dropping off and not playing anymore, which most likely also translates to all the other platforms as well. And as someone who mostly focuses on YouTube, I can very easily see the interest in a game because as a prime example, like at launch, Modern Warfare 2 was actually pulling some pretty good views and stuff. But it only took roughly a month before I started to notice that the views were stagnating. And I've been doing this for a pretty long time, man. Like it's a clear indicator that the interest is starting to go down. My best guess is that the people that want to deny these numbers are people who actually are really happy with the state of things for Call of Duty. I don't know how you possibly could be, but okay. The only thing I can play on Modern Warfare 2 for more than an hour without losing my sanity is playing ranked play. You guys might have seen it on Nerd Plays, and I'll probably start doing this on the main channel as well, but I've completely given up hope on multiplayer. Like, on Modern Warfare 2, I have fully entered my villain arc for the multiplayer, and I have started unironically using the KV broadside with 25 rounds, the fire shots, shield on the back, all of that disgusting stuff, the survivor perk, bro. I just do not care. If they're not gonna fix the terrible garbage in the game and they're gonna let people just completely go around like mindless bozos, then I'm gonna to do it too for the little bit of regular 6v6 multiplayer that I still play and I can already guarantee you guys this now season four is gonna be coming out in roughly a week or so they're gonna start teasing it they're gonna start showing off stuff we already kind of have an idea of like upcoming maps and guns and stuff like that coming with modern warfare 2 season four it's not gonna do anything it's gonna be pointless I've said this a long time ago and I'll say it again DLC cannot fix the problems with the game and season four for modern warfare 2 will be no difference do not get your hopes up do not think that buying a season four battle pass and getting these guns is gonna somehow make the game better it won't sure it's gonna give us some new guns to use and it's gonna give us probably one new multiplayer map to play probably won't even be good it's like crazy at one point i used to actually think that dlc for call of duty could make a bad game better and after so many years of that just never being true and never being the case i think i finally realized it with modern warfare 2 especially because they care so little about actually improving the core gameplay but they actually care so much about trying to sell us more bundles i don't know man i feel like something finally clicked with this game so good job activision to be honest i didn't think i'd be sitting here thanking activision for anything but apparently they actually did take down two hack providers for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Honestly, I don't remember the names of the companies. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see, but I didn't even know the names of them, so I can't even imagine that they made that big of an impact on the game. Maybe they did? I don't know. What I do know is that the number one hack provider for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, they haven't done anything about that. Just think about that for a second, man. The largest provider, the single largest provider for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 cheats and hacks has not been taken down. But they went after SM2, they went after X Labs, they went after some smaller companies, but they haven't gone after the big boy. I just just don't understand. And you know, I did briefly talk about the hacks that were going on with Cold War right now, which is basically very similar to what was happening in Black Ops 3, where hackers can get your IP, they can get your personal information and stuff, they can hijack your PC, all that stuff. Now, I cannot specifically verify this. I haven't seen it, but I've been seeing some people in our Discord talk about the fact that apparently you could do it on Modern Warfare 2 as well. Again, I cannot fully confirm that, but I wouldn't be surprised if it'll be possible at some point. I think typically what happens with these Call of Duty games is that the people that want to try to steal information, they don't want to do it on the most brand new Call of Duty game because their chances of actually getting permanently banned are going to be a lot higher versus doing it on a game like Cold War. You rank up the battle pass so much faster in this game than Modern Warfare 2, man. I just recently finished my battle pass on Modern Warfare 2 and it took so long. Having to play so much and grind so much of a terrible game is painful. I don't even know why I'm doing it. Like, it's so bad. It's like, am I really getting FOMO over Modern Warfare 2? That's gross. So yeah, guys, Cold War is still completely boned and Modern Warfare 2 is most likely next. Why did I get out? Uh... Ah, uh, please get in. I got one second. I actually made it back. Wow. But like I was saying, I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare 2 is next if people aren't already getting hacked on that game. Honestly, I'd like to see a hack for Modern Warfare 2 that locks all of the bundle buyers out of their bundles. Like, they can't access it. Straight up denies them the ability to look at the store. Now, that would be funny. All these other stupid cheats like aimbots and wall hacks and stuff like that. Trying to steal people's personal info. I can't get behind that. But if you could stop them from looking at the store and buying bundles, that'd be great. Because then maybe we could actually see some improvements and change with this series. But me buying a bundle doesn't hurt anyone, does it? 
rude game. Keep off in the copium, buddy. Somehow thinking that buying bundles will make the game better. Oh, oh, Activision needs the money. Didn't you hear Bobby? He only has $12 billion of cash on hand. And if the Microsoft deal fails, which they really don't want it to, they'll get another 3 billion guaranteed dollars from Microsoft. Yeah, they are so out of money. Oh man, Activision has no idea how to make money and then keep it. This is exactly why I'm making this type of video and titling it Call of Duty has hit a new low. This news about Cold War has been out for like over a week now. There's been no announcement, nothing. No acknowledgement. No plans, no patch. They just want to watch the game burn. Also, yo, we just got a casual quad feed. Nice. Five man. Six man. Okay. Dude, it's so funny because I am still sick and I really don't like playing against actual people when I'm sick. I just know for a fact that I'm not going to play as well. So like whenever I'm playing stuff, I'm usually like playing against bots. Haven't touched rank play and I haven't streamed since I got sick, which really sucks. I don't like it. I want to get back on the grind and stuff, but I get so much more easily frustrated. Like, oh uh, yeah, Cold War's in the gutter. Modern Warfare 2 has remained in the gutter and will probably never get out. Season 4 is coming up for the game, but I gotta tell you, this is probably the least excited I've ever been for a Call of Duty DLC in my life. And I played and survived through Infinite Warfare. And I'm gonna say something crazy, but it's true. Literally all of the Infinite Warfare DLCs are better than anything Modern Warfare 2 has pumped out. Especially the zombies, man. The, the DLC zombies were crazy on that game. Hey, we got another quad feed. Let's go. More. Oh, that's a sentry gun. Oh my goodness. Where's the human that put it down? There you are. We are clearing them out. Bro? I almost had another quad. This is what we got to do with Modern Warfare 2. Let it die. Just rest. Rest, my sad fuck. <laughs> well then. To who's camping that with a rocket launcher, you lame ass? <laughs> Teammate just got blown up too, I swear. He wanted to revive me, and he also got blown up. We're both on the ground. Oh, goodness. That doesn't look right. But yeah, man, I'm not trying to sit here and just be super negative about Call of Duty. There might actually be some exciting stuff coming up. I can't talk about it too much right now because there's some stuff I have to learn, some downloading I might have to do, at least potentially. There might be something else out there that I can't talk about right now. But as far as it goes for the future of Call of Duty, they've unfortunately put us in that terrible situation where we have no hope for the current game and we're basically just looking forward to the next one. Great. Now, I'm sure you guys already know my stance on the next Call of Duty and how I'm going to approach it. It is basically in my DNA to buy and play every single Call of Duty game, so that way I have perspective on every game. And obviously, as a YouTuber, I can make videos on the game, I can cover it, I can let you guys know how it is before you potentially buy the game, all that sort of stuff. Now, as far as it goes for stuff like microtransactions and DLC, I mean, the most I'll buy is the Battle Pass for being able to make content on, like, new guns and stuff like that. That's basically been a given at this point. But when it comes to things like the optional purchases, you know, like the bundles, the skins, I'm not buying. The only way I think I can ever see myself buying a skin in Call of Duty again is if the game's gonna last for more than one year. And even then, I don't want it to last for just like two years. It's gotta last for a, a multitude of years. Because really, what's the point? The skins will never carry over to the next game. If they carry over to the next year, then they can't sell you more skins in the next game. And all of these skins that you either own or you're thinking about buying are going to be irrelevant in less than six months' time. You are not going to give a fuck about any skin that you bought on Modern Warfare 2 once Modern Warfare 3 is out. That is a guarantee. Because no one's coming back to Modern Warfare 2 after this year, man. It is not the type of game that people are going to be nostalgic about and reminiscing about and wanting to return to, which is a sad but true reality. Meanwhile, this entire time I've been playing Battlefield 2042, I just kind of felt like playing it. I definitely did not want to play Modern Warfare 2. And in my last video, I was playing Plutonium, so I was like, okay, let's mix it up. I think Battlefield 2042 is getting season five on Wednesday. So if I'm feeling better, maybe I can stream it. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. I think they even teased season six for Battlefield 2042. I don't know if that's going to be the last season or not, but watching everything play out with this game has been very interesting because they have actually been gaining more players over time. Granted, it's been kind of of like sporadic but surprisingly battlefield has not been burning through and losing players as much as modern warfare 2 has which is crazy vehicle is toast. should have taken it out of the oven i didn't know it was toast Up we go. Whee! i love that so much god it's so much fun so nice to play a game that lets you move oh my god this is a free feed Fuck you clowns <laughs> Should have been a five man. I don't know what happened. God, look how little healthy he has. I've been getting so many feeds with the new SMG. It's really good. Whee! Oh my! I don't think I should have died there. Let's show them who's the boss. Yeah! We're getting this. I. 
Is this Call of Duty? W why is there a random Claymore there? A Claymore shouldn't even exist in this game. But yeah, going back to Call of Duty, with all the negativity going on in the COD community right now, that does beg the question, what could possibly be done to fix all this? The first thing I would do as Activision is I would unseason and assist X Labs and SM2 and I would start working with them. So that way all these awesome projects could come back and people could safely play these COD games on PC. And then take that season and assist energy and use that to take down all of the hack companies, like all the actual cheap providers for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, as well as Cold War. And then I would get to fixing Black Ops Cold War because that game is only two years old and you can get your information stolen while playing it. Shit's crazy. It's still a very new game and they're selling it for full price. That's fucking bonkers and it should not be allowed. I almost just got ran over. And even though they're trying to preemptively kill off Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 by not really giving it all that much content and by not really changing the gameplay at all, I would still go ahead and make gameplay changes and start adding more content to the game, especially content that we expected, like remastered OG Modern Warfare 2 maps from 2009. I would just go ahead and do it because when you treat your player base so poorly and you don't get them excited for anything new, then how can you expect them to care about the next game you're trying to release? The way that they've been treating us and handling things is having the opposite effect. People are seeing right through the bullshit and they're not gonna tolerate it. If the general feelings towards Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 are extremely negative, by the time they wanna release Modern Warfare 3, that's not a good look. They themselves are trying to create a new part of the Call of Duty cycle where they purposefully tank the game before releasing a new one with the hopes that we will somehow think that the next game is gonna be even better because the last one was so bad when we got off of it and quit playing it. This is one of the worst tactics and worst strategies I've ever seen for Call of Duty and it, it's gotta stop. Oh yeah, this is the thing I got from the Battle Pass, the explosive launcher. I don't know what this does. I don't know if it's any good or not. Let's see. Oh my, uh... <laughs> Wait, so it sticks to someone and then blows them up? Oh, that's awesome. We're gonna take the last one. Come on, boys! That's gotta kill- that. Yeah, it got him. We're gonna win this one. Oh, I love it when it gets all crazy like this at the end. Try to stop this. Okay, they are. Uh-oh. I just wanted to revive him. The Super 500? What is that? Oh, it's a shotgun. We won! There it is! I love the farting sounds at the end. Got plenty of feeds. We won the game. That was good. How are we doing on Battle Pass? Dude, watch this. Watch this. I, oh. Four times, four tiers in one game. That is unheard of in Modern Warfare 2. Jesus. I think I got a new LMG too. Oh, the RPT-31. Yeah, a lot of people use this LMG. It's apparently pretty good. I'm sorry, but I was getting so distracted with that game. But basically, there's a lot of things that I feel like could be done to take Call of Duty into a more positive direction and get the community happy and excited about things again but they're Activision, so they're not gonna do any of that. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk about Call of Duty while playing some Battlefield 2042. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want Call of Duty to get better and actually make some good choices for once, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Outcome, Tranquil.